Welcome everybody, boys and girls, to the WNBA Bank Shot here on its new home at the Fantasy Boutique. We want you to tailor your game like a winner. So yeah, so today we're gonna do our, uh, I guess, our first uh, first Bank Shot video here on the boutique, and it's gonna be awesome. And uh, it's for one of the bigger slates of the year, a massive, massive, massive five game slate, which. Doesn't really sound like a lot in typical terms for uh, NBA or anything like that, but typically that is uh, far, far bigger than any of the slates that you usually see for the WNBA so far. So uh, we're going to dive right in and uh, we're going to hit up the guards. So um, starting at the guards, we're going to talk about Skylar Diggins Smith. I love Skylar Diggins Smith. She's in a lot of my lineups, uh, slate in, slate out. Um, she averages, uh, um, she's averaging 33.3 fantasy points per game in her outings this year versus San Antonio, who she plays tonight. And, um, you know, she's, uh, she's just been able to um, pass the ball, shoot the ball, do whatever her team needs for her to, uh, um, to show that, that uh, her team can uh, get, get where they need to go. So she is basically going to, snap up every snap stat that you can possibly um, think of. She'll grab the rebounds, um, kind of just everything. So she's, she's going to fill the stat, stat sheet over and over again. Um, her key stats that we're going to look at, uh, obviously uh, 16.9 points per game, uh, four rebounds per game, 5.6 assists per game, and 1.4 steals. Um, if you see anything over a one in any of the, any category, um, especially those, uh, those, those, smaller categories like steals or something like that um that's just adding value to a player so uh skylar diggins smith definitely in play tonight uh moving on from her we're gonna go to courtney williams um uh, she has just been tearing it up over the last four games uh she's just got an uptick in minutes and with that she has seen a pretty good performance including um a uh, 29.7 fantasy points uh game in an outing two games ago for her against the Liberty. And, um, yeah, she's going to look to match that again tonight when they play. Um, so yeah, so she's, her price has snuck up, but, uh, but she is, she's still crushing, um, over her, her average for the season, which, uh, is kind of just showing that with the minutes, she can actually, um, put up quite, uh, quite a display of, of, uh, talent. So with that being said, we're going to get into her key stats. She's got 12.7 points per game. Uh, 4.9 rebounds per game and 1.8 assists per game. Uh, I definitely like her as well tonight. Um, those are obviously two of the higher priced options, so just keep that in mind. Um, tonight's a night where you're going to need somebody to uh, produce uh, low end price wise. So uh, you're going to have to kind of pick and choose your battles. Usually it's pretty easy on these two, three game slates. But uh, with a five-game slate, you're going to see a little bit more um, strategy coming into play with that. So um, next up, we got Cappy Pondexter. And uh, she's kind of seen a fall in her production um, with uh, um, with other players coming back from injury. And uh, mostly in the the um, fact that she's taking less shots and she's obviously then scoring less points. Um, but she's still, uh, she's still getting her assist. And, um, you know, she has, in this season against the Dream, had two of her best uh, fantasy point games. Um, so that is something to, to definitely look into. She obviously has exploited some weaknesses on, on those teams and, uh, and produced pretty well in those matchups. So um, her key stats, 12.5 points per game, 3.38 rebounds per game, 6.7 assists per game, and then that 1.0 steals per game. So she can kind of fill it across four categories which is definitely a plus when it comes to um, who you're gonna who you're gonna want getting you points. Um, so in that same game, we're gonna move over to Hayes, who is um, uh, she's underwhelmed, I guess, a little bit in her last few outings, but um, she's made the most vice versa of her outings against the sky, like Pondexter has against them, and uh, she is averaged thirty two point four in her two matchups that they've faced off this year. Um, so kind of uh, could be a get back on track spot for her. And, um, you know, especially with her uh, shooting and attacking the boards, um, if this matchup has a lot of missed shots and is fast-paced, 
um, that can only bode well for her. So um, she has a 17.6 points per game total, 4.6 rebounds per game total, and then uh, 1.3 assists per game. And then she adds that 1.2 uh, steals per game, which definitely helps her out um, in the uh, the extra categories there. So, And then moving on from her, we have Quigley, and she missed the previous games against the Dream. Um, this season, which obviously I mentioned kind of in uh, Cappy Pondexter's um, run through. Um, she has come back and just been amazing in her her eight outings. Um, she is a point scorer. That is what she does. And so that has kind of taken away from Pondexter. But um, she's paired well her scoring with her rebounds and her assist skills. And um, has definitely worked out for her. She's averaging 23.4 fantasy points per game in her eight outings. Um, and with what Pondexter did against the Dream earlier this season, um, I expect one of them two to have a pretty good game, and um, uh, that can definitely be Quigley, who's going to score, I think, quite a quite a bit of points. So, um, her key stats are 15.8 points per game, 3.4 rebounds per game, and a 3.1 assists per game ratio. So, um, she is a uh, she's pretty much her scorer. She's gonna get you some rebounds. She's gonna get you some assists. And uh, that, that makes her a good play. So moving on, we're going to go to Curry, who is coming off of her first start of the season and also her best game of the season. Um, she'll get, she's going to look to kind of uh, match that back up against the same team that she just had that big game against. Um, she scored 36 points against. Um, so And she's averaging 30.8 fantasy points against them this season. Um She's going to get some extra minutes, which is definitely going to help. And um, she's uh, she's in, she should be back in the starting lineup again tonight. Um, and she is very, very cheap. So um, definitely can open up some things in your lineups um, and make some make some cool things happen. So her key stats are 12.6 points per game, 4.8 rebounds per game, and 2 assists per game. Um, I definitely like her as a cheap option tonight to make um, other players players stick and give my team the best shot of taking down a GPP. So moving on from guards, we're going to get into the forwards. Um, we're going to start with Foles, who is basically just dominant. Uh, the, literally, the the write up for, for Foles could have just said dominant. I mean, she is ridiculously talented and her last outing against the Mystics, who she plays tonight, she is she did uh, 42.7 fantasy points per game, which is actually above her average for the season, um, which just tells you that she has a good matchup there. Uh, she scores, passes, rebounds, blocks, steals, you name it. She's handing people water on the bench when they go into huddles. I mean, like it's ridiculous how much stuff she does for this team. Um, she is expensive, but that's where I kind of like to play like Curry to offset her pricing there and bring that um, back to a nice happy balance. Um, her key stats, as you see, there are five uh, key stats where she is over at least one, and that is uh, 20.9 points per game, 9.8 rebounds per game, almost a double-double basically, uh, 1.9 assists per game, 1.7 blocks per game, and 2.1 steals per game, which is actually really high and I think might even lead the league. Yeah, I know she was leading the league earlier in um, the season, so... Moving on from her, we're going to go to Glory Johnson, who, um, you know, she gets a, a star's front court that uh, is she just basically dominated in their last matchup. Um, and uh, she scored 44 points in that matchup. Um, yeah. The, the forwards are not the brightest defensive spot for the stars. And um, they've given up a couple of big games to players. I know um, Brianna Stewart had a had a pretty good game against them uh, last week as well. Um, so yeah, so she's going to uh, she's gonna basically have a chance at redoing a double double like she did last matchup against them. Um, and uh, yeah, she gets a lot of minutes and she's gonna post a lot of points and rebounds. And but she will also get you um, assist and steals. So we're gonna look at those key stats right now. Uh, Fourteen point two points per game. 8.9 rebounds per game, 1.6 assists per game, and 1.2 steals per game. So she's getting it in four different categories, and that is what's making her so valuable. Uh, while basically not being a crazy over the price, over the top priced um, option. So definitely like some Glory Johnson in that matchup today. 
Uh, moving on, we have Maya Moore, and uh, she is on a little streak of of decent games where she has scored over 34 points or more. Um, she's super consistent in her game. Um, she's going to get you points, rebounds for sure. Um, she's going to add in a good amount of assist, and she will also um, play some defense and get you some steals. Um, so, yeah, so she is definitely been playing fantastic. Um, not as not up to her standards, I still think, but I think that might keep a couple people off her, especially with Foles being so dominant. Um, but uh, you know, she uh, she's a top notch player in the league, and she has been for years. So um, there's no reason to really stray from her. And she did score thirty four point six in this matchup last time these two teams faced off. So um, key stats for her: fourteen point eight points per game, five point seven rebounds per game. 4.1 assists per game and 1.7 steals per game. Like I said, consistent across the board. That is pretty much kind of what you can lock her in for. And then if she gets a little bit of extra, uh, it's just all the, all the better. So moving on, we're going to go to uh, Langhorn from the Seattle Storm. Um, she's very minutes dependent, but she's currently getting about 28 to 30 minutes per game, uh, most outings. And uh, she's posting solid numbers. Um, she's definitely a cheaper option on the slate that you're going to need. Um you're gonna need cheaper options. You're just to make your make your situation uh, most optimal. So you're going to have to find people who will be in that range of a little bit cheaper to make a lot of other bigger things like foals or um, I don't know if, uh, El- Elena Deladon or whoever you want to pay up for. Um, you're gonna need these kind of players to uh, to and hit on them to take it out on GPP. So her key stats are 11.4 points per game, uh, 6.2 rebounds per game, and one assist per game. And keep in mind that she hasn't been playing um, her full allotment of minutes that she is currently. So she is she's probably on an uptick more so than anything. Um, and uh, I think that she gets, a, she gets a solid number of minutes again tonight and can produce maybe between 20, 25 points. So um, next up, we got Harrison from the Stars. Um, she has the upside that you need to take down a GVP. Um, basically everything I just said about Langhorn, you can also pretty much say about Harrison. Um, she is going to fill the stat. She's a little bit more, so she's got a little bit more versatile skill. Um, that will help her for a big game. Basically, um, she's, she's had some, some big games, um, not too many of them, but she's, she's also been consistent. So, um, if she decides to hit that big game and she hits on it, um, you're going to hit too. So, uh, her key stats are 10.5 points per game, 4.9 rebounds per game, 1.1 assists per game, and 1.2 blocks per game. Um, so she's, uh, she's also filling up the stat sheet in a way that, um, not many people that, that cheaply priced are doing. So, uh, a solid option for at Harrison in your lineup. And then we will finish off here with Jones from the sun. And um, yeah, she's a walking double, double. Um, literally she averages a, easily a double, double. Um, she's on a three game streak where she's had over 37 fantasy points and has notched three games out of six over 40 points. Um, and then she also had a game of 39.9, which is almost 40 against the same opponent she's going to face tonight in the New York Liberty. Um, yeah, so she's on a roll. She is playing great. She's becoming a force to reckon with. Um, and basically she's going to, she's going to continue to, to do these things because she gets in there and she takes high quality shots and she's down in the paint. So points and boards are going to come for her very easily. Um, so yeah, another big play that you can use to pivot off. Um, like I said, she's two, only, only one of two, uh, players with five stats over one. So, um, that I'm, that I'm focused on here tonight. Uh, her key stats are 15.1 points per game, 12.2 rebounds per game, 1.2 assists per game, 1.5 blocks per game, and one steal per game, uh, to say that she is stuffing the stat. Sheet is an understatement, and uh, definitely, I think, uh, someone who you can contend and if you can figure out a way to pair with foals and have a, a good um, supporting cast, could be uh, the right combo tonight. So, and uh, yeah, 
so that'll do it for our, our player breakdown and uh of of the plays that that I, I'm really looking into. Definitely uh, check out the write up, which is a lo- a lot of uh, a lot of the things we just covered, but a little bit more uh, more neatly written out um, over at dfsboutique.com, and you can also check out the Suicide Squeeze, uh, our baseball write up, and uh, and yeah, stay tuned for that NASCAR over the weekend, and uh, what we're gonna have you taken care of over at the DFS Boutique, man. So, um, with that being said, my name is Ant, and I'm out of here, man. I'll see you guys. Good luck, and uh, let's see how much wins we can rack up tonight.